All right, so there's this story out of uh, California, some uh, crazy Democrat with Trump derangement syndrome attacked a guy wearing a MAGA hat, and supposedly the guy in the MAGA hat unsheathed the sword and started slashing the guy with it. Now, I have a couple questions about this. First off, what is a sword to a liberal? Because, like this right here. This is me unsheathing my knife. Knife is this big. Letter opener is probably about this big. Then you got a machete that's like that big. And then you start getting the sword, which is like anywhere from probably two and a half to four feet long. So, whatever dumbass liberal was writing about this story... I'm just trying to figure out what their definition of a sword is because this right here is sharp as any sword out there this is my knife for gutting skinning anything really and it, it's razor sharp and shaved with it but um yeah what what is their definition of a sword because in california right now it's, a, it's over 80 degrees so if uh He's walking down the street with just a sword on his hip. Obviously, everyone's going to be able to see it. So if you're dumb enough to walk up to him and try to uh, attack him for that hat he's wearing, you, you pretty much deserve to get chopped up. Um, so that's that's what's making me question if it was actually a sword or if it was just a... It, shit, it, it might have just even been like a keychain knife that they think is a sword. But, um... Yeah, I was watching this video earlier, and the guy was saying about how it's not normal to uh, slash somebody with a sword for attacking you. And I was like, hmm. To me, and to probably most people with common sense, the normal thing is not attacking a person over a hat that they're wearing. Like, that, that to me is not normal. Normal to me is defending yourself. You want to catch somebody doing that type of shit in uh, Texas, Oklahoma, North Dakota, South Dakota, South Carolina, North Carolina, like anywhere in the, the only place you would catch somebody dumb enough to do that would be like California, Oregon, or New York. Like that's really the only place people are dumb enough to where they think that there's so much in control that they can do something like that without having any repercussions. We've got a right to free speech. Got a right to the Second Amendment. You've got a right to uh, your pursuit of happiness. You've got a right to be safe in your possessions and your personal space, wherever that may be, whether that be at home or your space out in public. You don't have the, the right to violate somebody else's space. And when you do violate somebody else's space, that's when people start unsheathing uh, swords, I guess. I guess I guess a liberal would be dumb enough to call this a sword, but yeah. He should have cut both his hands off. And it's funny, like, the guy who was uh, reading the story was like, oh my god, look at how much blood that is. I guess, like, most people that work know that hands bleed a lot. Get out of the way of the camera. Coda, move. Hands bleed a lot. They bleed a whole lot. Just like, like, the top of your head and uh, your forehead, they bleed a lot. So, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out. Later.